Hey, this is Josh for Retool.net, and in this video, I'm going to talk about some of the changes to XML in the new version of Premiere. Now, while the overall XML exporter in the new version of Premiere isn't all that different than it was in CS6, there is now one new major benefit, and that is this. Let me demonstrate. I'm here in CS6, and I have this edit, and Basically, the operation in CS6 was that if I want to export a sequence via XML, I could click on it and hit File, Export, Final Cut Pro XML. And then I'm going to tell it where it needs to be saved. And I'll hit Save. Okay, so I saved out the XML. I'm just going to go into a new project just to show you what that looks like. So I'm in a new project now, and if I double click and navigate to that XML, and I open it, you could see that even though I only wanted to export this one sequence, and that was the sequence I had exported, every sequence and every basic aspect of my project was exported. So let's see how it works in the new version of Premiere. I have the same project open here. I select my sequence, and I go to File, Export, Final Cut Pro XML. And again, I'll just save this out and I'll just call this one underscore new. Okay, so again, I'm just gonna open a new project just to make it clear what it looks like. And if I import the new XML and tab it open, you'll see I still have all my bins but if I go to the sequences bin here, I only have a single sequence, and that's the sequence that I wanted. So it is an improvement to the XML exporting feature. Now the reason for this, of course, is you don't always want to export your whole project. If you're sending your sequence to another editor or to a color correction, they don't need to see every sequence you've ever made. You prefer to just give them the one sequence that you need to be color corrected, or you need to get re-edited, or sent to a conform, or anything like that. So this is obviously a great improvement to the XML export feature, and I hope to see more in the way of this kind of improvement in the newer versions of Premiere.